the 12th. Um, had a crazy day of sleeping. Took Dino early this morning to get his cleaning on his other side of his mouth. And I couldn't sleep beforehand, so I really didn't go to sleep today until 10 a.m. It is 7 p.m. I am starving. We were supposed to go to the grocery store. Obviously, we didn't make it because I don't eat meats and stuff from Food Lion. It just doesn't work with my stomach at all. Um, so, we are going to do cheap deli meat. <laughs> like, just some, well, it wasn't really cheap, but it was $6 for half a pound of ham and some cheese. Um, so, that is what we are going to do. I know it's processed, but, um, my weight's pretty much staying the same right now, and it might be from the processed food, but I'm trusting the process of 20 grams or less of carbs. So we're just going to do this today because I'm hungry, lazy, and like I said, did not have time to actually go to Aldi's or Lidl's where I get my chicken from or like steak and stuff from the meat markets. I could get chicken there too because they come right out of the farm or the ranch or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the thing is, I can't because it costs so much. I'm willing to pay that much for like red meat because I can't eat red meat up from anywhere else really. Sometimes I can get away with certain Angus cuts at Sam's and then sometimes I can't. And later I might make keto chow and if I do I'll show you. Um, but this is just because I'm lazy. And hungry and my finger is killing me I cannot bend it I have to keep something over it even pulling clothes up or brushing against a sheet makes it start gushing blood again um, so this is cream cheese if you're wondering what I'm spreading on there I'm gonna do three of them I think I've never had this ham before, so hopefully I don't have a reaction to it. There's no sugars in it, I made sure. Wow. Usually you wait and let your cream cheese get a little more softened, but I'm hungry. And you usually put more than this, but this girl, like I said, is starving. So we have some spears, pickle spears. Hold on. I have no strength. I can't even take plastic off anymore. All right. Getting into my pickle spears. Come on. Give me one. So you normally would use the whole, you know, the whole spear, but I'm not. Why don't I eat a lot of pickles in my journey? Simple. This is sea salt, so this is a butter salt. Very simple. I have a pickle addiction, and my first year I did lose tons of weight, but I ate so many pickles, it was insane. And when you go total carb, 20 or less, um, that's really not, doesn't fit in my macros because I would eat this whole jar. I usually don't like pickles in my house. All right. So, usually would have way more cream cheese than this, but I'm trying to stand my cream cheese macros. So, I put a very thin layer on each one. Not even, I can tell you, it is not even near half an ounce of cream cheese. Just going to roll them. And yes, I did just put this on again. And like I said, this is just mine. Because to me, this is dirty. Like, ugh. Even though it's brand new, it's gauze, it's clean tape. My brain says it's dirty. <clears throat> Alright. So, right now, it's 7 o'clock. This will be my first meal of the day. I have not even had a coffee yet. Um, so, I'm hungry. And cranky. So, I'm going to go eat this. All right, it is January 13, 2023. So we are on day 12 of Bat to Keto. Um, 
The cats are very distracting me. If you're new to my channel, this is the Weight Loss Channel on Keto, my daily life, my cats, recipes, you name it, you'll find it here. Um, if you are new, my highest ever in life was 434. That was about six years ago. Before I started keto, I got down to basically 320 on low carb. And then my weight started going back up. Once it got to 368, I realized low carb wasn't working and I miraculously found keto. I mean, come on. A diet, you can eat bacon, eggs, different things like that, and butter and lose weight. And it worked. It worked amazingly well for me the first year. I lost over 120 pounds. Okay, I got all the way to 158, 157.7 if you want to be technical. Um, and that was a year and a half ago. Um, a year ago. Well, more than a year ago, September 2021, I got, um, we all got really, really ill. Um, I found out later on that we had gotten the C word and then I had gained weight and I had a lot of trouble with trying to get that 15, 20 pounds off somewhere around there. Um, I kind of ate too many nuts after that just because, um, kind of lost hope for a little bit then I got back on the wagon hardcore 2022 in January just to get hit with the C word drastically bad really bad okay by March 11th I was up to 220 then by summer June ish I was like in the 180s got the C word again and then I stayed in the 180s all the way until October. And then the October, I got severe gushing horrible heartburn and went off keto for two and a half months like a dumbass because I have polycystic ovary syndrome. I know calories in, calories out does not work for me. What works for me is no carbs. 3,000 calories, 2,000 calories, 600 calories. I can lose weight as long as I'm not eating carbs. 600 calories, 1,000 calories, I'm going to gain 40 pounds. And yes, yes, I gained, gained from 180 to 226.8 in two and a half months because that is how my body goes. Okay. This is not binge eating. This is not eating more than one meal. I only ate one meal a day. Sometimes I did have some snacks, occasional like donut, and that's all I had for the day. Like my calories were extremely hot, low, but my carbs were extremely high. It's a carb thing for me. And no, my A1C was perfectly fine. Literally 5.4. So my A1C came back fine. My blood pressure, all those things I cured was still cured. It's a polycystic ovary syndrome, meaning I can't burn calories like everyone else can. So I know a lot of y'all are not new, so you've heard this and you're probably sick of it. So if you fast forward, that's fine. <laughs> because I know you're sick of it. Um, but anyways, we are starting over again. We started on this uh, second. We did the uh, Start Your Keto Right with Dr. Eric Wesman. It was a seven-day challenge, a very strict total, 20, to 20 carbs a day total, a very strict no more than six olives, no more than like two tablespoons of this, no more than four ounces of cheese, no more than two cups of green leafy vegetables, no more than one cup of start. You get like non-starchy vegetables. You get my drift. Very but you can have all the meats and stuff like that and pork rinds and stuff like that, right? Um, and during that time, I got to one, my lowest was 215.4. And then I started creeping back up, even though I didn't go off the list at all. I still haven't gone off the list. Um, and got all the way back to 221 today. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday because I haven't shown you all that yet. I'm going to show you the video I made last night of trying to make Wendy's Keto Chow ice cream using a blender. Okay, literally, I watched her video. You'll see, you'll see. Let me go ahead and show you all that, okay? I'll also show you what I've eaten today. Um, yeah, yeah, let's get to that real fast. All right, I have rewatched Wendy's video once again of keto cha ice cream using the blender. And we are going to try it. I always try to cut it in half to make um, one serving, and everyone tells me the same amount that I'm using, and it should work, but it's pure liquid. So, 
I have wrote it down and we are just going to do two servings because I really want ice cream and I'm really tired of it coming out like pure liquid. So we have, I've only done 13 ounces of water because we're going to put um, two tablespoons of buttery toffee. We're using the chocolate toffee keto chow. I have 96 grams, so that's two packages. Um, and I have two tablespoons of the powder butter. We're doing the powder but butter version that she did. So we're just going to pour it in here. Pour it in here and get it stuck all over the top, which is ridiculous. Okay, now I'm going to, I cannot do it on cam, but I'm going to measure out two tablespoons of buttery toffee real fast. I don't want to try my best to film this, my best, without getting in the camera. Because I'm in PJs for one thing. Alright, so we got our water, our keto chow, our powder butter. And you know, I was watching the video and Wendy made this video while it's on cooking with Wendy. That's the best place to go look for her stuff. So she made the recipe up with the powder butter when we were doing the no dairy. We were doing keto chow, beef, no dairy type egg, bacon type thing. I don't remember if we had bacon or not. But... I felt the best and lost tons of weight on that version. So I'm rethinking my plans. Because I need to lose weight super fast and feel healthy. So I'm thinking heavy cream needs to go out the window. Um, because I'm wondering if that's my problem because I'm stalled. All right, she said blend this on low just to mix it. to my ass and it's on the other side all right 32 ounces of ice is in here For a minute it still has ice chunks but there's another step I want to do to mine um you know chocolate toffee used to be my favorite flavor in the world but since getting the c-word for the fourth time this past year it doesn't taste like it tastes like the caramel mochiato which I don't like now so my taste buds have changed so I am putting a scoop and hopefully this does not water it down I use it in the Ninja ice cream maker. I kind of think I need a little more ice, but we're going with it right now. One scoop of chocolate toffee. Chocolate toffee. Chocolate collagen. <laughs> record me opening it. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, it's closer. It still has ice chunks. Maybe I just need to blend it more. Let me see. I don't know where the camera is, y'all. Hold on. Okay, look, it's ice cream texture. Right. A really soft serve with chunks in it. More like, I would have to say this is more the texture of a milkshake to me. 
but it finally isn't liquid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat one serving, I'm gonna freeze the other serving into my Ninja Creamy bowls and mix it up like in the Ninja Creamy tomorrow for some more ice cream. So it's a win-win and y'all's machine might do it better than mine. Mine is either pulverized, like I have a snow button. This crush ice button is snow, y'all. It is pure snow. And I have it every night with some um, skinny girl. Let me show you, hold on. All right, so I have the snow every night with some of the syrups and a little heavy cream and it tastes like real ice cream, like pure ice cream. Um, so I'm gonna try something like that with my keto chow, but I kind of need to get off the skinny syrups. I'm worried they're what's stalling me. Um, I'm worried that my my whole system's changed. So yeah, let me let me get y'all a better close up. I know it's dark in this corner, but um, we're gonna eat it. At least I am. All right, so my ice cream's in the freezer because it did not work out at all. It is complete soup at the bottom once again. So I do realize some freezers make harder ice. I have in the door called chewable ice, so I don't use that. I know that will turn the liquid, but I also have soft ice. I have no hard ice, so you can actually chew the other one. They just, you know, it's a little harder than the chewable ice. So I'm wondering if that's the problem. So next time, I'm gonna try like only eight ounces of water or maybe 10. I don't know, it's pure liquid. Um, so I have it right now in the three different containers in the freezer. She's cuter to look at than me. And then I have it, um, a little bowl in the freezer right now getting hard so I can eat some. Nope, even after 15 minutes of the ice cream going into the freezer, it was still pure soup, y'all. Pure soup. I, I can't make it, I don't know why. It just doesn't work, it doesn't work. Anyways, I wish it would. It would be so much easier and not as loud as the Ninja Creamy. And so fast and easy. Did I say that? Because it would be. <sighs> but it is what it is. I can't seem to make it no matter what I do. Doesn't work. Just doesn't. But I had Five Guys Burger for the first time in my life today. And it was very yummy. Like surprising. Um, I did the bowl one. Dino did the lettuce wrap. Um, it was hard. Hard, y'all. Because I was having an emotional day. Um, because of the scalp because on keto I usually lose extremely fast but ever since getting the C word especially last January's version all I do is gain weight can't seem to lose weight um so the devastation is hardcore but I also know my adrenal gland is extremely overwhelmed overworked I already have adrenal gland issue it's genetic um, and then on top of it, I cannot fix my sleep. Nothing I can do. I can't stay asleep more than a few hours. Then I wake up for a few hours. Then I'm back down. It doesn't matter if I fight it. It's just, I can't. It doesn't matter if I've locked the cats out of the room and Dino's not in the room. I cannot be asleep for more than two, three hours max at a time. And then on top of it, I have to get up and pee constantly. Um, so I'm having serious sleep issues. I am having, um, like the sleep issues can destroy weight loss. Okay. Stress with my family, my dad's heart issues. Um, so much. So I think between all the friggin' stress and no sleep and being allergic to something right now and not knowing what the heck it is because I am covered again all with little red patches, like little red pin marks all up and down my chest, my stomach and my legs again. And I don't know what it is. It's not the cats. If it was the cat shawl, I would be wheezing. I have never been like allergic to cats where they make me break out or anything. I just have an asthma attack and keto cured my asthma. I've never, other than when I get the C word, I have no wheezing since the first year of keto. It just cured all of that straight up for me. Um, it cured my diabetes. It cured my friggin' um, high blood pressures, my heart palpitations. The hardening of my heart wall does not exist anymore. So even though I've gained weight, none of those medical problems have come back. So that is a plus. 
And I am very proud of myself, very proud of myself to go into Five Guys and eat what I just ate. Like, I never have had their burgers in the first place, and my dad never either, so I brought him one, and he freaked out over it, and I was proud of Dino. He got his lettuce wrap. That's the way I'm going to get mine for now on, because they didn't give me no lettuce. Like, my lettuce was this big. Um, so y'all because normally I had never had their burgers because I would just go in and get a bag of fries when I went to Five Guys and that was it and then leave and me and Dino would share a bag of fries um and you might be like oh my god that was horrible no wonder you gained 40 pounds but that would be the only food I ate all day long share a bag of fries with Dino all day long that would be it I would see my home that would not cause me to gain weight um but because it was a carb I guess it did <sighs> but I was so proud of myself not to give in, and I went into Sprouts where it has all the things that say keto, like all their chips, all their candy type stuff, all their bars, all um, tons of different things, all the ice creams, and I almost got keto and light and ice cream, but that sets me back every time too, so I didn't even do that. So I was very proud of myself because I was having an emotional day, I was having an exhaustion day, I was having the, why am I doing this when the scale just went back up, why? So, I am almost done with all the bacon in the house, almost done with all the deli meat in the house, and I will not be buying them again anytime soon. Same with pickles, same with olives, same, like, maybe, maybe some olives here or there if I make a taco uh, salad thing, um, but I'm going really strict on the nasty processed foods with the nasty horrible sodium and yes me and Dino did have a talk about it because food is very very expensive right now and deli meat you can get cheaper than healthy food right now um so that is one of our biggest issues I don't know how long Dino will be keto because you know he likes his chips but keto chips are extremely expensive y'all like those little bags are like insanely expensive um and since he's not allowed fruit, and that's why he was used to eating, it's uh, those things he's trying to get used to. But he is doing the one meal a day, and one bag of chips, and two of the Premier Protein drinks, things like that, like I show you. Um, and he likes that, and chips, not the Quest, because I have plenty of Quest. Holy crap, do I have some Quest chips in this house. Because uh, I was eating them, and then stopped eating them. Uh, so... Yeah, it can be really expensive. I don't know how carnivore people do it, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm looking at meat prices and my quality of meat for me really does count. Like if I was go to McDonald's and order a McDonald's burger, um, let's say keto style, right? Uh, I would be throwing up before I left the parking lot. The meat would make me have horrible heartburn. I would be so sick. It would feel like I ate a brick. I would be in trouble. Same with Wendy's, okay? Same with um, Hardee's, like all of them. At this, Other than Highway 55 and now Five Guys, those are the only two places I seem to be able to eat a burger without getting sick. Um... And no, I didn't eat any burgers at all either when I wasn't doing keto because usually burger meat makes me really sick. I have an issue with um, greasy meats, so I can't eat the cheap hamburger meats. I can't do the 80-15. I need to do 96-3, but it's very hard to get. Um, that is what I do when I go to the meat market, and the rest of the time it's 93.7, 93 versus 93.7 for fat content that's what we just bought and I'm gonna try it um, and hopefully it doesn't make me sick we'll see we'll see because I normally can't handle that normally I'm in ground sirloin um, so pray that's why I'm like how can you even afford this like I could go one meal a day and eat some potatoes and ramen for like nothing and praise right like it's basically eating the it, that, it's expensive compared to what it used to be, but it's like nothing. But the way I ha have to do it, the organic, free-range, pasteurized, eh, organic eggs, those are insane right now. Okay, all eggs are insane, but this is like, holy crap me. And I'm living off a lot of eggs. 
my butter also costs way more because we're using real butter right now. This fake, I can't believe it's not because it's not really butter crap. And then, yes, you can believe it's not butter when you actually taste the real thing. It's very obviously not tasting like butter. Um, heavy creams are a little more than milk. Uh, things like that. So, if I want to eat more than one meal a day, it can get expensive. But I normally eat one meal a day. So, my challenge coming up is going to be pretty simple. People can have like mayonnaise, you can have mustards, you can have any spices you want. You can have chicken, in, um, boneless skinless chicken breasts I prefer for this challenge. You can have eggs um, and then keto chow. You can have up to three ounces a day of cream cheese. Um, and if you want to do a vegetable, because some of y'all like Dina pointed out, some people don't have a like, if I did not have keto chow right now, there's no way I could do it. It's too expensive right now. Um, so, if you want to do the challenge but you can't do the keto chow part, you can add some broccoli too. Um, the whole point is to be the lowest fats for me right now of food choices and to control my carbs 20 total carbs or less. So, you can also have your collagen and all of that kind of stuff. Um, you can do protein powders instead of keto chow, right? Just say 20 total carbs or less and do the leaner stuff. That's why I chose boneless, skinless chicken breast because it's extremely lean. Now, I probably won't start this challenge until Tuesday of this week coming up. I'm not sure yet. I have to get a hold of some chicken. Um, because And the reason I say mayonnaise because I want to do some chicken salad. And I'm not telling you how much mayonnaise you have to use. You can pick that yourself. Um, but I'm trying to stay away from dairy, so that's why I won't be having heavy cream. I'll just be doing butter. But um, heavy cream is an option for your fat for your um, keto trial if that's what you want. But that's why I'm not adding cheese to this challenge of myself. This is just a myself challenge. Um, and the biggest part of the challenge is to not eat the heavy cream and no cheese. That's the hardest part for me. But I have some heavy cream open and I have some cheese open. So I won't know for sure when I start the challenge until those things have been eaten. I'm not wasting food. Just not happening. Y'all, I also ate um two nights ago, which I forgot to tell y'all. I ate two ounces. Um, two nights in a row. I don't know which two nights. I had two ounces each night of spam. Uh, so, but of course, you can have those kind of things on Dr. Westman's challenge. I just had forgotten to report it to you. I wanted to ease myself back into this without having to do my macros and track everything. But I'm thinking after next week, I'm going to start tracking everything again and my steps and working out and my sleep. I'm gonna start tracking everything again, probably at least the first week of June, uh, February, like day one, February 1st, if I don't do it before then. But I'm exhausted right now and I'm going to drink my second cup of coffee of the day and I'm exhausted but not sleepy, that's the problem. <clears throat> and I'm just going to relax I am still trying to get through the last season of um, Walking Dead. I started to freak out. I'm like, there is not enough um, time left in these videos. I'm only got like seven more episodes. How are they going to end it with this person or that person or this person? And other people aren't even here yet. And, and what? There's no way. And then I looked and saw there are spinoffs of the people that I was worried about. Uh, how is it going to end? Except there's one person not listed in that. So now I'm scared because I don't want that person to die. So, and to me, that person was one of the main, very, very main characters. Because let's get real. How many people are left from the first episode? Um, Rick is supposedly left somewhere. But at least right now, like he was supposed to have a movie go to the movie theater in 2020. That would tie all this shit in. But uh, that didn't happen and they never aired the movie. Um, and then... We have Carol and we have uh, Daryl. That's it. Nobody else is left. Just them. They're the only ones that survived the evil. The only ones. So, yeah. Out of everyone.
That's what I was thinking last night. Maggie came to play a little while later. Not too far later. So she's basically been there since the beginning. But not the very first episode. And, and um, yeah. <sighs> I should have known. Like, it's apocalypse. How many of us would survive? How many of us would make it to the end of the season? Oh, <sighs> yeah. It's what... That's why I need to get in shape. What if we had an apocalypse? Let's think about it. I can't run. I can't hold myself off a cliff with my arms. Um, like, I have no strength, no muscles. Like, last January when I got sick, it affected my muscles and bones. I have zero muscle and bones anymore. So, yeah, I gotta start working on that. I'll show y'all what keeps distracting me and then I'll say goodnight. We are all playing. Running back and forth. We're going through tubes. Oh, Haley just got back. She went to a hockey game and my phone just texted me to tell me she pulled into the yard because, you know, I have to Google map that girl. But, alright everyone, I will talk to y'all tomorrow.